Would you like him to take a picture of the two of you? That would be awesome. Yes. Eating crab. Hey guys, so we're here at the Alaska Salmon Bake, and I just ate some crab, and Mike is gonna go back and get me some more. I hope you can see me okay. The sun's behind me, but. Yeah, so I hope you guys are having a good Memorial weekend, and I want to walk around a little bit and show you um, the sights, so, okay, bye. This is where the cooking happens. Excuse me, thank you. <laughs> so if you come to Fairbanks during the summer, this is a great place to come. This is in Pioneer Park, which is an awesome place. They have a bunch of old cabins and that people rent um, and use as little shops. So, there's a cool totem. There's the big fish. So I told Mike, I said, I want to come back here at least once more before I move. Maybe two more times. I love it here. It's about $30 a person. It's all you can eat. And they have all the salads, soft drinks, and then they have cod, salmon, crab, and prime. And dessert with coffee. And there's my honey bun, and that's where Pioneer Park is back over there. So they have a little sluice box here, which was used in gold mining. And people still gold mine here. There's still a lot of gold. Here's the pick and poke gift shop. <clears throat> Boy, for two or three summers they didn't have water in here, so I'm happy to see that they have the water back in. <laughs> Thanks, so anyway. Fine. Uh, Fine, you can bring Colleen. And your sister. I know there was something to it. I couldn't figure out. Yeah, there was. Oh, it's a train whistle. Yes.
No. Yes, All this is what aunts and uncles do. Super loud toys. Yes. Or. Are we in the crowd? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can find anything I'll ask you here that you want. So we noticed that you have the, um, the little ivory tusk necklaces from the walruses. Do you have anything? I should take you to the Santa Claus house out in North Pole. Not exorbitantly expensive. So these are like from these are from Morris though. M is for moose. We shared a table with a couple um, who were here. <clears throat> they did the cruise, then came up here, and then they're going to go to Dawson and White Horse. White Horse, and she's the uh, woman said that they hadn't seen a moose yet. And I said, well, you still might. So well, there was a mosquito. Where'd it go? There's a mosquito, the Alaska state bird. That's the joke. Cute. Okay. Oh, there you go. Forget me not. That's the Alaska state flower. Is the forget me not? You can get a moose platter. Bye. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower. I am exfoliated. I am shaven and moisturized as per the directions. And here's one of my beautiful spider vein areas. Here's another lovely one. And all of my sunspots. So, uh, here is the mitt. Oops, sorry about that. And here are the directions. Immediately before applying your tan, moisturize elbows, knees, ankles, and feet, and any light hair to protect, protect from absorbing too much product. Pump the mousse onto your tan applicator mitt and apply in light sweeping motions, starting from your legs and working your way up. Well, I I'm just going to do my lower legs. So, let's see how this is going to go. Am I supposed to shake this? Uh, da, da, da. I don't know, it doesn't say, so I'm not going to. And here is my mitt. This is what it looks like. And you get the full view of that beautiful gam. So, here we go. And let's... That's what it looks like. It has a light, kind of perfumey smell. Now, I moisturized my entire leg and foot because not only am I pasty white, 
I'm very dry because I'm old. So I'm just going to bring it up to about my knee. This actually goes on very easily. And I think I'll put some of the face stuff on too. It's interesting, they only give you directions for the face stuff on the box, not on the tube. So at least not that I found. Hopefully my ankles aren't going to look crazy. So that's after one pump. Pump another one. Do the other beautiful leg here. Oh, and there's my new shampoo. And Cindy, I did find some of the Dr. Teal's body wash. It's in a special place in Walmart. They have a very special section just for Dr. Teal. That's for Cindy and OK. Cindy in Oklahoma. And I do like that body wash. It's an Epsom salt body wash and they have different types. So I'm just going to, I hope I didn't over rub. I don't know. And I am going to set the timer. I'm going to wash this. That looks awful. Um, I'm going to set the timer for an hour and we'll be back. Okay guys, so I went to take the plastic thing off of the cap of my new $13 IT Cosmetics brush and look what happened. Hmm. Not pleased. Okay guys, I'm back in my bathroom and this is the color of my legs so far. I have not uh, showered or washed the tanner off. I don't plan on doing that um, for another hour at least. And I did wash the mitt and it washed out quite nicely. So, yeah. So I hope that is showing up okay. I have different light bulbs in here, so sometimes you get a different color, but that's an hour, so that's probably the best representation. That's an hour. I should have taken a picture, but I didn't. So I'll be back after another hour. Okay guys, this is hour number two and I haven't washed it off yet. I'm going to do that. Um, so far it's okay. I'm not noticing any smell so far. Um, I would say the downside to this is that you have to wash it off at either one, two, or three hours. They say not to wear it longer than eight hours, so I'll be back once I get done washing. Okay, I washed it off and I'm really not sure if I see a whole lot of difference, so I don't know. The jury's still out. I guess I will have to um, maybe review once I watch the video. So that is two hours. It's washed off. Okay, bye. Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday. Memorial weekend and I put another coat of you know, it's really hard to film your legs another coat of that self tanner on um, I'm outside in the daylight ouch I really need to do a pedicure um, so I don't know we'll see how it goes I am going to just leave it on for I don't know, a few hours. We'll just have to see. The lilacs are in bloom. They're actually blooming a little early. And the uh, choke cherries are fading. There are some of the roses I noticed over here. I don't have shoes on, so. <clears throat> I think I'll have to show you those maybe tomorrow on Monday when more of them come into bloom but it's another beautiful day it was definitely in the 80s yesterday and I'm happy to see that the lilacs are blooming Mike took Bruno he had to let somebody into the credit union and so he took him along and then we're gonna go to Lowe's we're gonna take Bruno out on his outing and then we're gonna go to Lowe's and Home Depot and look at some flooring options for a house in Vegas and the house here because we're going to have to replace flooring and have things painted. 
before we put it on the market and so that's how exciting we live our lives we are really boring people um, and then we're gonna grill out either tonight or tomorrow not sure when I think we talked about it last night and I don't remember <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I'll just talk to you later. Come on, guys. Ready to go in? Juno. Hi, Boo. Hi. Come on, Juno. Come on. Let's go. Come on, guys. There's Bruno. Whoop. And Emmy. Hi, Tinks. Hi. How are you doing? Juno. Hi, yeah. Still Sunday. Hey. Drop, drop. Come here, boo. Hi, buddy. Hi, whoa. Come on, girl. Pooper scooper. Where is Juno? He's going potty up there. Oh. Little Miss Juno. 13 year old. Huh. Yeah. There's Crazy. And there's Emmy. Hi, Juno. Hey. She loves the sun. Sometimes we just leave her out here and she just lies in the sun for a while. Ah. So we're at Pioneer Park, it's Memorial Day. And they have two trains running. Normally they just have one. my top from Sam's Club and my little faux Louie so I wanted to look patriotic first I had sweats on and then I decided to uh, dress up a little more so here we are and they haven't put flowers in the planters yet. That's something I have to do. I have to get to Walmart and get my flowers. So this week I'm going to tackle, we're, this is where we had salmon bake. This week I'm gonna tackle the bedroom, the dreaded bedroom. I have most of the craft stuff taken care of. If anyone's interested in 12 by 12 paper stacks, I still have a bunch of them. The shipping is expensive and I can't help that. So, it's just what it costs. So this is such a cool little place. I'll show you more later. Here's the part of this North Square and Round Dance Center. Everything up here is the part of this North that's the Centennial Center for the Arts. I did hair and makeup for a few musical productions held there. I've brought you guys here before. There's a stern wheeler that you can tour. And up here they have a uh, miniature golf. Over here to the left is the Air Museum. Because flying, yeah, flying is so important here because everything is so remote. Hi, Boo. Happy Memorial Day. So here's the miniature golf, and there's the train depot over there. It's, it's 
in the mid 60s so we had rain this morning and it's cooled off but as you can see it's beautiful There's a band. Military is very important up here. It's a big part of our economy and of course we love our service people. We have Fort Wainwright Army Base and Eielson Air Force Base south of North Pole. Steel drum band. Okay, we're at the coming up to the depot. We were over there. And I have my SPF 50 sunscreen on and my CoverGirl 3 in 1 that has 25 and my Elf powder with 45. So I think my face is covered. to put your eye drops in again today. I did it twice yesterday. Yeah. So they're doing face painting. Popcorn. I'd go for some popcorn, except I'm too fat. I never get tired of coming here. Where's the ice cream? I don't know, it looked like it might have been there. I'm guessing a few places have it. Yeah, probably someone up here. Did you want to go back and see? No, we're going to walk around. Okay. This is a train that President Harding came up to Alaska on. It's the actual car, I should say. So I just want to, I had Bruno. And I passed him off to Mike because I wanted to show you guys that. And then the stern wheeler. That's a real stern wheeler that was used. It's dry dock now. And they have another band over here. During the summer, this is so pretty. The flowers are all in bloom. And those are peonies. must have had a military band over there. They're breaking yep. down. These guys are tuning up. Feedback. 
Nope. <laughs> Bruno, what you doing, bud? Am I getting too far ahead? Bruno. Yeah. So this is the Wickersham House Museum. It's pretty cool. Um, Wickersham was the first judge up here. And then down there, that little chapel, that thing is haunted. That place is creepy. Um, one of my clients got married there and I did her hair for her and then she invited us to the wedding and I went into the back room where the girls were, the women were, just to make sure everyone was okay and didn't need any touch-ups in their hair and I just got the creepiest feeling and one of my client's husband does maintenance and cleaning here and this place creeps him out too. Hi, Boo. Are you out visiting? This place is pretty cool. The Kitty Hensley house. And then they have different shops in here. And there goes the train. Here's the husband's waiting area. And the ladies' resting area. You can go to Crip if you want. And there's a husky, Alaskan husky dog. Yep. Yes. His name is Bruno. I have a German, I have a German Shepherd, but she's a mix. Is she? Yeah. What she mixed with, you know? She has Husky Weimaraner. Is that the one? Um, is that it? Like that no. Uh oh. She's she's at home. She's oh, pregnant. Weimaraner. Yeah, she's that pregnant. Pregnant. Yeah. Weimaraner. Um, what else? We got a purebred Alaskan Husky Weimaraner, um, and a lot of. Okay, here's the Raven. Why don't you go stand by it? So there's a perspective you can see how big it is there you go. that's how big it is yeah. yeah it's pretty cool this is new it wasn't here last year and I think Mike's gonna get a hot dog so and I have my iced coffee with half and half and sweetener okay now we're at the back end of the park and the river is just beyond that fence. Look at the shape of that spruce. Isn't that interesting? Volleyball. And there's a walking path along the river. I don't think it's down here. You have to go further that way for the walking path. There's a little auditorium. Here are the Alaska roses, the wild roses I was telling you about. Aren't they pretty? But their thorns are a pain, literally. You get those in your feet or in your hands when you're gardening. And here's the Chena River. I've taken you over this river a few times, and that's the road over there. Like that. I know, man. I 
I got twins too and it's crazy. Uh oh, somebody's in trouble. So over there, that bridge, I've taken you over that during the winter time and this is the Chena River. So this is a different perspective. This is Bruno's first exposure to water like this. There. You thirsty, Boo? Huh? Look at the ducks. Hi, puppy. You want to get in that water. Huh? That's where his food is. Duck and salmon. Yeah. Sydney knows. Yeah. He does the Sydney. See all the glint the gold that looks like? Oh yeah, the pyrite or whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but probably the fool oh I see. Yeah, see the little sediment, yeah. <laughs> What you doing, Boo? You like the water? Oh, he sure ain't afraid of the water. No, he? no, he walked right up to it. What are you going to do when we get to Vegas? Are you going to just jump in the pool? Yeah, he likes the water. At well, least biting it. What you doing? Do you like that? Yeah, you've never been swimming before. Yeah, you like the water, don't you, bud? Yeah. yeah I think if he wasn't on a leash, he'd be in there. Swimming around. Washboard on. <laughs> <laughs> 